Hey, Yuma, can we talk for a quick minute? What's up, uh, Sir Agnum? Just Agnum, please. And I've got a question for you, that's all. Listen, man, it feels like every time I see you, you're trudging around with the weight of the world on your shoulders. You okay? Huh? I, I appreciate that you're worried, but... Look, if you don't want to open up to some guy you just met, I get it, but the offer's on the table, okay? Bottling that stuff up ain't healthy. Not healthy, huh? I... I guess I can try. And you'll listen? Of course. Lay it on my ears, man. I've just been... thinking. About what happened with Genus, I mean. Everyone scrambled to protect me, right? Rina, Sonia, they tried to keep me safe so I could call on the dragon and bail them out. And I just... couldn't. It was all I could do to stay on my feet. I squandered the chance they bit and clawed to give me. Uh -huh. Look, that guy's kind of a monster, and you're not exactly a soldier. It happens. He seemed like he meant it when he said he didn't want to hurt them, but... If he had, I don't think I could have saved them. that, I... You're torn up about missing your shot. Yeah, I get how that feels. But think about it. You've got the real live shining dragon inside you, right? The divine lord of all drake kind or whatever. Isn't that a good thing? No, you don't understand. That's exactly why I'm afraid of him. When I hold even just a bit of his power, it feels like I'm damming up the rest. Like it's ready to burst and drown everyone around me if I mess up. Hmm. Guess it's true what they say about power and responsibility. No wonder you're so anxious about calling out to him, though. Like, if losing control of his power is that big a danger. Well, only one thing for it. We can figure this out together, you and me. Really? What is it? Practice, man. You gotta stay in the game if you want to get good. Practice? That's right. I bet it's like any skill, you know? Find some place quiet and just jam it out until it's all second nature. Seems logical that the more time you spend practicing with Big Shiny, the less you'll risk losing the reins when you need him in a crisis. Is that how it works? Ah, shut it. You're not gonna know until you try, right? No, it's just... I've never even thought about how I'd go about, uh... training with him. Well, now seems like a pretty good time to start, I'd say. Come on, at least give it a shot. Uh, okay. Come hit me up during my patrol tomorrow. We can get started then, probably. And seriously, don't worry about it, okay? If we really do go berserk, I'll be there to knock some sense back into you. Uh, all right. An Agnum? Thanks. Eh, thank me when I've done something worth thanking. Maybe once we see some results, yeah? <laughs> So that's, so that's Agnum, Agnum, huh? I hadn't, I hadn't figured him for that, that type, type at all. A little overbearing, maybe, but he seems like a good guy. Maybe practice won't be so bad. Huh? 
What's that sound? Sounds like Kirika singing. Listening to her is so soothing. Yuma, let us speak, you and I. For I have questions. You were faced with strength, yet you cling to fear. You mean, when I faced Genus? Yes. That a mortal man could amass such power and go unnoticed is... rare. Yeah. It felt like he was on a higher plane, you know? Like I never stood a chance. Correct. As you are now, to cross blades with him again would be your undoing. Exactly. It's like, what can I do? A weakling like me just can't keep up with skills like that. So why try? Self-pity, boy. From where I'm roosting, you may just exceed him given time. What? Me? Right. Agnum said something like that, too. That if I practice with you and him, then maybe... This thing will take time, but it is a necessary step. This is my counsel, should you desire it, Yuma. The world will try to make you compromise, to make you change who you are. I urge you to resist. Never change who you are, huh? That... Uh, are you sure about that? Because I thought getting stronger meant... Changing. Some souls find strength in weakness. Others, shown strength, become blind to their weaknesses instead. That... Uh, I hear you, but I... I'm sorry. I don't understand. Hmm. And so I am left to wonder, just what does he seek, that he pursues the last song of all things?